I'd like some clarification on soul maps and contracts with other souls. If your soul has already mapped out your life, why do people claim they can manifest anything they want? What if it's not what your soul mapped out for you in this lifetime? Okay, so... With this question, there's a couple of things that we have to understand about how the soul works and kind of what's happening behind the scenes before you even incarnate. Okay. So it is true that your soul does map out your life. It maps out each and every life with a lot of detail. Actually, there's a lot going on behind the scenes before you even incarnate here. Your soul is mapping out your life. Your soul is picking certain experiences, new experiences that it would like to, um, it would like to have on earth earth. It is mapping out wounds and things that were left unhealed from past lifetimes that it wants to heal in this lifetime. So the soul really does plan out and prepare each lifetime before you actually incarnate. So that is absolutely true. But here's where things get interesting. The soul realizes one of the reasons why planet Earth is a really unique uh, type of incarnation, it's a unique way for the soul to evolve, is because down here we have what's known as the veil of forgetfulness, okay? So when you incarnate into this realm of consciousness, into this realm of reality, one of the rules of this realm of reality is the veil of what's known as the veil of forgetfulness, meaning that when you incarnate, as soon as you come out of your mom's womb, you're not, you don't don't remember where you come from. You don't remember who you are on a soul level. The majority of us uh, down here operate under this kind of forgetfulness of our past lives, forgetfulness of where we come from. And so that is a rule that's established in this realm of reality that helps us actually evolve because when we forget, we have to go down new paths and discover new adventures. And so the veil of forgetfulness is an important part of evolution down here on planet earth. And the soul knows that before beforehand. So the soul isn't mad or angry when it maps out a certain life and it picks certain experiences. And then you come down here and you end up having totally different experiences. The soul isn't angry at all. The soul just is just beautifully, joyfully going, going along for the ride. And it loves every minute of it, regardless of what ends up happening down here. Okay. There's another variable too that plays into this reality down here on earth. So one of them is that veil of forgetfulness. The second is free will. So your human avatar has what's known as free will, meaning that your human avatar or what some call the lower self operates with free will. It does what it decides that it needs to do at that, at that given moment. And it could be something very different from what your soul mapped out. Okay. So these two things, as you can see, these two things add, these two variables added into the, into the reality of planet earth makes for some really interesting adventures because it means that your soul can plan out in detail a, a whole lifetime and you can end up living very different things, or you can actually end up living whatever your soul mapped out. Regardless, there, there's not really, one thing we have to remember about this, this reality is that it's not deterministic. You, you don't, you don't come down here and just live out your soul map exactly as it was stipulated. That's not the case at all. Otherwise, this wouldn't be such a popular uh, way of, evol of evolving. There are a lot of souls waiting to come to planet Earth precisely because of all the adventures they, they have down here. And it's because things get interesting because, yeah, you can have a map up there, but then when you get down here, everything changes. The rules change. You forget who you are. Then you have free will. And so you can go on some pretty interesting adventures. Okay. So you can have a certain thing mapped out. You can have a soul contract with someone and maybe you never meet that person when you had a soul contract with them. A bunch of different things can happen. You can, or you, you can cross paths or you can't, or you don't cross paths. A bunch of things happen. And it, what ends up happening is it, usually more likely than not, when we leave each, each incarnation, we probably haven't lived out our map exactly as the soul planned it before we incarnated. So usually at the end of our lives, when we leave things that end up a little bit differently than what the soul had planned 
out. And again, there's no judgment from your soul. Everything is fine. So to answer the question, yeah, you can, you can manifest anything you want. This really to me means the, the way that I like to look at this affirmation is that you can manifest anything that your soul that is in your highest good down here. You absolutely can. You absolutely can. There is a part of destiny uh, operating also, and all of these things intermingle, right? Like the veil of forgetfulness, free will, destiny is also, um, is also a key aspect of it. And so all of these things intermingle together. And so you end up having really interesting adventures, but but I think the most important aspect of answering this question is that yes, you have a soul map, but sometimes more likely than most times, I would say most times when you come down here, the details of your soul map end up being a little bit different precisely because down here you have that veil of forgetfulness. And so a lot of adventures happen and a lot of things that maybe your soul hadn't planned out uh, can happen down here and that's okay. 